Welcome to a Silent Hills inspired Fallout 4 mod, Whispering Hills. This is nothing short of amazing and impressive, and it's only becoming better and better the more I play it. You've seen the mists. I've got no items other than the things that I've gathered over here. It has its own enemies and questline. Apparently, the Commonwealth is a dream, and this is the real world. Well, Sean's been kidnapped as a pure child. And the clues we've gathered will send us to Alcamilla Hospital. And even though I've never played Silent Hill, because I never had it as a kid, I've watched a couple playthroughs on several of the games and... This is very on point. It's also an amazing horror mod that also works as an ENB. What is this? I think I'm losing my mind. I don't know when they will start evacuating people. The kids still have to come to school, even though the smoke is all over town. It's weird though, it's cold outside. Everyone seems to have gone to their homes. I'm just waiting for the call to evacuate, but... I feel they never will. No, I feel something else, like... Every day is the same. I have the same dream every night as well. I'm looking down on the school. All I can see are my feet before I fall. When I hit the ground or the building, I wake up. Every morning is the same. I look at myself in the mirror and I feel older. But I don't look it. Not even a little. I feel like I can remember every day that has passed, but it's all the same day. I must be losing my mind. I cut my finger yesterday. I remember it perfectly. And yet, today, it's gone, as if it never happened. And the smoke outside is so thick, I can't see. Uh, the sun. The night glows from the cold plant. People are saying it could be an attack. Hollow. I feel... Hollow. My bones are ash. I am rotting. That was weird. We'll take some vodka, though. That end, we have to find the hospital. But at the same time... It feels like there's a whole place to explore, because this is not in the Commonwealth. Don't know if you've seen episode 1, but or chapter 1 in this case, but you should. For example, I'm not hitting that mannequin for no reason. That one is flying for no reason, though. See? That's the reason. <laughs> also, I'm not being stupid. I don't have VATS. I cannot use VATS. Lying figure. Well, how about you go lie somewhere else? Or in fact, how about you lie right here? Come on, stop blocking me, thank you. Couple more mumblers in the playground, so there must be a reference between those and the... Grey Childs. Well, I've got no clue which it could be. I'm looking for a key to the, to the gates. And that's it. And there's a screen, so... Maybe that's gonna lead me somewhere. Wait, can I go into the burning house? Nope, okay, my bad. Just had to try it. Hmm, not finding the key. Not sure where to go either. Toz! I missed you, I've been here before. Didn't see ya. Okay, so... There's a lot of ways... Okay, the thingy changed, so... When you get close to the objective... What is that? Is that Siren Head or Pyramid Head? We found both on the previous one. But now it's silent. Why? <gasps> Are you still invincible? What a bitch! Why? This time you're in the open, I... Ah, that one is on me. Fine, let's leave. Escape from the sewers alive. Nieti Muko, what is that supposed to mean? Doesn't seem to make any sense. Backways. <gasps> Pyramid head is coming. Oh no, I'm gonna have to flee from it in the sewers. Look at how much damage that thing is not taking. God damn it, man. I'll take some Psycho, and Jet, and a Steamy. That ought to help. Come on. I'm, all, oh, I'm already gonna have to flee from Pyramid Head. Uh, and I've seen hordes of enemies, so... I do not want to be fleeing 
from like 15 different things. Oh, come on, stop blocking. I know it's Fallout 4. Or Fallout in general, merely in Fallout. Notice how I didn't say anything after Fallout sucks without VATS. Against and only against other melee enemies, because they can just block you for no reason. Just like you can do to them just by pressing one key. That is silly. Not very Elden Ring ish. <laughs> oh, great, great. I have like 1 HP. Can I even survive? I did quick save. I can just make the run for it though. <sighs> Fine. What do you mean it's blocked? Why? Okay, so we need to go over there. And now I have to go through Pyramid Hub and his buddies. Yeah, this is not working as well as it was in the last episode. The, the difficulty has amped up a bit. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of things after me and I need a key in true Silent Hill fashion. Buddy, 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 I need to cut down some numbers before the Pyramid Hat comes after me because this is unacceptable. Seriously, it's also so close. Nash her down. Ah, uh, crank head. Go on, mm, only needed one more. Go on, buddy. I'm here for the ambience and the quest, not for the challenge. Come on. Plus, I'm on normal, and I refuse to drop down the difficulty level. Oh, and that... Some, one of them didn't even have a name. Lovely. <sighs> ah, it's you, okay. Well, fuck off. In fact, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna leave you behind. Where is that damn key? Ah, oh, it was right by the place I died the last time. Great, I didn't even see it. I had to explore. Also, these unique cool names are just Patreon users from the mod. Which, now I'm curious, is that why one of them didn't have a name? Because those are Nashers. Ryan, if you could please let me through. Thank you. Wait. No, that's the... Oh, that's the fence. Mm, Ryan! Ryan, what are you doing, buddy? Come on. Are we safe? Please tell me I'm safe. I don't want Pyramid after me the whole time. I think we are. Okay. Huh. Gate. Blue barricade. Exactly. That's the key I was looking for. Except I didn't need it. And this is Alcamilla Hospital. Finally, check for clues. Hospital notes. I see you have found your way here. I'm glad we will finally get to meet. It's been so quiet since everyone else left. Sure, we got some visitors, but none so immaculate. Make your way to me. I have a gift for ya. Yeah, another note? I have to wonder what brought you here. Was it just pure chance? Was it a chance to meet with me? Was it this Sean person? Is that who you were looking for? What about what we have together? Does that mean nothing to ya? I have no clue who's even leaving the notes. Oh, but I'll take every single eighth item. That's for sure. I'll take it. And I love it. Jet and medics. Nurse notes. Today, two children were brought into the hospital. Claudia Wolf and Sean of the Order. Claudia suffered severe injuries all over her body. The nurse who brought her told me a story I'm not sure I can believe yet. We stopped the bleeding and stitched the wounds up. Claudia seems to be in a state of shock. She didn't respond to pain at all. I do remember her from previous visits here. She always came in with bruises, but never anything this bad before. Sean, on the other hand, seems to care more about Claudia than his own wounds. He insists on staying with her. So, we put them both in one room where they can recover. Ah, yes, my stoic, very stoic baby, who's apparently eight years old. Hmm, maybe let's not overthink on that, because pretty sure there's gonna be a twist. Although, episode five, or chapter five, will take a while. I see the stairs are locked. Goddamn orderlies. 
Where could they possibly be keeping the key? Have you checked their offices yet? That seems to be where they always keep their secrets. Hmm. Lot of notes. Lot of keys. And that's fine by me. Oh, I'm not gonna fall for that. How many? How many? Two are fine. Three are fine. One of them. One. Only one. Acting Relic. That is odd. I mean, it is a cool name, but... Kinda makes me think that's a Patreon user of the modders as well. Although, kinda fits. It really does. Anyways, buddy, if you, if you could please stop blocking me. Uh, main character, level 69, you know? So, that's not a joke. I'm actually level 69. <laughs> I even got better, better criticals on the last one, so... And since I was unable to get here, I'll take everything. Antiseptic, if I'm not mistaken, might be useful for making steam packs. Dr. Autumn notes. It's like this. I tried walking out of the west side of the county on the first Thanksgiving. I didn't care if any of these things would try to rip me apart. It was just me, my grandfather's old shotgun, and what I thought would be a long walk through the woods. I walked all throughout the night, right after the sirens dissipated. And you know what happened? It was like I had walked all around the town because I found myself coming out the east side of town. No. The first Christmas. I scrounged together some gasoline and drove as fast as I could after the sirens. Same thing. I came right the east side of town. As far as we're concerned, this town might just be the whole world. Patient report. The coal fire at the plant has brought in a lot of burn victims. We cannot care for all of them, so we need to make decisions. Therefore, I advise that those who are at least likely to make it due to their heavy burns should be brought down to the morgue. One nurse should be enough to take care of them. Her only job will be to administer enough sedatives to keep the patient silent. Time will do the rest. If someone is still alive after three days, a doctor shall decide if we shall take care of them or leave the patient in the morgue. Damn. Ugh. And here's the kitchen. Okay. Any more notes? I love me some lore. Also love me some action. And keys. Especially keys. Eight items. Hmm. Love me those two. Okay. Just an office. There's a note. No, not the ruined history book or the telephone. So, what's up? Incidents. Patient Samuel Bosman. Patient got into an altercation with another patient and is being moved to solitary. To avoid further altercations for now, when questioned on why he did it, the patient responded with, He insulted my love. Orderlies, who witnessed the incident, said that there was no interaction between the two prior to the altercation. And that's the staircase key. Head upstairs. Okay. <laughs> right after I keep exploring, that's gonna need the basement key. That's nothing. Ugh. We need the key. Exit key. Okay, we'll keep an eye on those. So, to the staircase. Anything on the bathroom? Nope. So, staircase. Let's see what we can find on the other floor. Another note. Four. You found it. Did you find anything else when searching for the key? You shouldn't always trust what the orderly say. They are liars. They are thieves. But I am not. You can trust me. You do trust me, right? Again, no clue who I'm talking to. To begin with, that's the place we need to go. So, obviously, I'm gonna look up the whole building before I do that. Anything unique? Any goodies? I don't know what I might just trigger, so yeah, I want all of the goodies. Hmm. Yeah, not anything thrilling until this point. But I'm still gonna keep on doing it. What do you mean, wake up? I just heard a voice. Buddy, I am. Very much. Alive, breathing, moving. Uh, behind you. What do you mean behind you? What's behind me? Oh, it's a ghost. Wait. Oh. <laughs> 
it disappears, but if I turn back, it shows up. Oh, uh, uh, you've seen it. Yeah, what the fuck am I saying? Anyways, my room is locked. God, why must they stop me from giving you your gifts? Perhaps you should check the nurse room on this floor. That may be your best bet. Go quickly, so that we can be united once again. We? United? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Don't turn that into Sean. Oh. Nurse note. Jackson, a patient vomited on me, so I'm going to the linen room upstairs to wash myself. If you can, keep an extra eye on the area for me since I am preoccupied. I owe you one, buddy. I'll buy you a beer. After work. Great. Hmm. So, what do I do? Explore another bathroom where I'm gonna find, let me guess, absolutely nothing. So, is it just a mirrored place? Well, kinda. Yeah, the layout, yeah, but... Not finding any keys. Uh, over there, which is where I expected it to be. Okay, then. Lovely. Here I am hearing voices again while looking for keys. At least there's no insane nurses. Let me guess. Yet. Anyways. Okay, I'll Camilla third floor. Gotta keep an eye on that one for now. It was in the sink. Okay. So, what is my gift? What? Beds? And miscellaneous loot? Rotten brain. There is a bloody piece of brain matter on the table. It looks infected and is rotting. There's no way you're taking this. Ugh. This is my gift to you. I hope you enjoy it, my love. This will be my way of confessing to you. Please take it so that it may be proof of you accepting me. Take it, take it, eat it. Can I? No. I'm also guessing that's not Sean. Which brings me to an even creepier question. So who the fuck is it? I'll Camilla basement key and note 7. You didn't take it? Why not? Were you looking for something else? Maybe a key that leads you to your beloved John? Well, if you want it, you have to take it from me. I am in the morgue, waiting for you. <sighs> well, bad lighting and everything. Cannot use the elevator. That is the morgue, so if you're waiting for me, I'm gonna explore first. See what we can find. Take some blood packs, right away. That's gonna be very useful. Oh, and plenty of purified water as well. Awesome. Hmm. Oh, sledgehammer. Yeah, I will be using it. Thank you. What else? What's the other thing? Boiler room. Not seeing anything. I mean, there's a chemistry station, but... All that does is crafting items. I can make refreshing beverages and some steamies, so I'm gonna do that and let's go to the morgue. Where I've been told something is waiting for me with a key that'll help me get closer to Sean. And now I'm hearing breathing. Oh man. What is that? Bone cutter. Ugh. Oh, cut off arm. Al Camilla, third floor. No. Twenty rods, I need to leave. Oh, no, 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 and I'm being attacked. Pyramid head. Fuck you. Run. That thing cannot be harmed. At least it couldn't be for. Is Pyramid head the one leaving the notes? I kinda want to refuse to believe that. Oh, I'm not being followed. We have enemies, but. It's nurses, that's fine. I mean, if they stop blocking me, then it's fine. <laughs> what a silly combat mechanic. Thank you. Oh, this one was so nice. You're lovely. Thank you, gals. I know you're doing your best, but main character and all, we've got a story to go through. Oh, great. Yeah, some more voices. Elevator, what's up? Find a way out of this place. Well... Yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> Though, yeah, the hell version of the Silent Hill version is even worse. A note. 
I'm not drinking it. Bitter medicine. Bitter medicine. Every time I drink it, I pass out. Those nurses want to poison me. Yeah, well, if it's the same nurses that we've seen, then no one would be surprised. So many noises and enemies, but downstairs, well, most of them. You can see the compass just as well as I can. There's another one. There we go. So, anything over here? Maybe a note? Yep, I'll Camilla a note. The ceiling, it crashes. I cannot look up. It's like I'm staring into a void. Everything crumbles when I look up. Well, it is a void. Not crumbling, though. Fortunately, but the voices and the enemies on the map are not thrilling. Okay. So, the mirrored room, we're on the... Is it the second, the third floor? Whatever. We've both seen this bit. So, yeah, miss, miss, if you could please. Oh, there's another thing as well. Oh, no. Come, come on. It's not even about my health. Just... It's a matter of respect. I'm the one who's high level. I'm the one making the video. Thank you. Jesus, how can I be so bad at this? I've got thousands of hours in more than one fallout, man. Oh, and yet, and yet, this is not gonna improve anytime soon. Room 304 key. Okay, we're making progress. Oh, are we though? I mean, I'll just have to go around. Well, that's fine, and I want to explore the whole place. So, room 304 key. Just a nurse. Nothing else. What is that? Ooh, a note. I can hear it. We all can. It creeps behind the walls at night. It's not a rat. I know how rats sound like. This thing sounds slimy. And blood. Sometimes drips out of the vents. I can see it. The walls are moving. It's right behind the wallpaper. Moving like snakes or worms. The walls are oozing out some black tar. Or something. Are those veins? Are the walls alive? You gotta be careful not to fall. Half a room. Get me out of here. Where do you want to go? Home. Home? This is your home. You're dead, Jacob. Dead? No, I just hurt my back. I'm not dead. What are you then? I'm alive. Then what are you doing here? I don't know. This isn't happening. What is happening? Get me out of here. There's no out of here. You've been killed. Don't you remember? Well, I'm here and I don't remember being killed. So, well, <laughs> we kind of died a couple times, but still, 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 main character followed. We got reloads and autosaves and stuff, so we are very much alive. Who is there? Who opened it? Huh. Incident report. Samuel Bosman. Patient was saying something about being lost and alone. Patient has begun to mutter things about being unlovable and that his true love abandoned him. Keep an eye on him. Okay. Room 204 Hell Key. Patients were brought in this morning with 3rd and 4th degree burns. They seem to be men from the nearby coal mine. It seems the underground fire has spread as far as the church. I've never seen burn victims this bad before. There's not much we can do right now except for blood transfusions and pain medication. However, not a single man has died yet. Maybe they've got an angel watching for them. Or a demon. Or an evil god. Like the one we've seen referenced on the previous chapter. Brain Eater. Oh, 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 you got a skull. Right next to your name, and that's all the damage you do. Another note. I can feel it in my veins. It's moving. My blood is crawling in my veins like worms. It wriggles. Overall, my organs. Ugh. In my mouth. In my teeth. In my eyes. I need to get it out soon. Oh, that is disgusting. And this room is pretty, either paranormal or weird. My arms 
are on my legs and my legs are on my arms. Then they just repeat that. This must end. I will put them back where they belong. Good luck, buddy. How are you gonna do that? Hmm? And yet another note. I see him when my eyes start to close at night. The ceiling opens up and he reaches his bloody arm down to me. Demands a sacrifice. He wants me. I cannot sleep. I shall not sleep. He will get me when I am asleep. Who, Freddy Krueger? <laughs> the noise. Every night, something is up there. It's so loud I cannot sleep. The noise. Metal on metal. It's driving me insane. Ritual. Hmm. Samuel. Samuel Bozeman? Is that you, kind sir? Oh, did I say kind? I meant... something else. Well, if you could please let me. If you could please stop blocking me so I can deal some damage, dude. Oh, you're not even that strong. You're just being a douchebag. I got this. Although, you are being annoying. I will get better at it, so. I will use you for training. That's all you're good for. Oh, there we go. There we go. Getting closer to it. Couple more, too. At least you seem like you have armor, unlike the nurses or whatever. Still, dude, we... Another one? That shouldn't have taken this long. Samuel Note. What do you have? If I can't have you, no one can. Okay, buddy. Yeah, just... Next time, which there's not gonna be one, but just move on. You denied my confession of love to you. We were meant to be, and you denied me that love. You crushed me and my heart. That's not how love works. That's not even how liking works. But okay, uh, have at it. Anyways, I'm missing a key. Oh. Windmill, okay. Oh, it was right by this place. Okay, yeah, we got it. So... Second floor. I also got the one for the first floor. I don't think this one loops. Okay. Door closed. Yeah, I just seen the, the barrier. The fence, I mean. So. Yeah, thank you. To the first floor. Let's see what's, uh, what's gonna happen on this one. Which, hopefully, is gonna be a way out. Though it's still mirroring the, the original place. Thank you. Stop doing that. The blocking on Melly is truly my weak point. I. It's completely on me. I, I get it. I should probably try and do a run without Vats using only Melly, so I don't have the key. I don't have embarrassing moments only like this. With a key. Okay, so we're gonna have to find plenty of keys, and I'm all up for it. <laughs> So all that means is we're going single player story driven instead of open world, so I don't mind. Hmm. Quick save though. I am not stupid. So even though it was that easy. But you know what? Office key and another quick save. Yeah, I don't like to redo stuff. <laughs> no way to pick this. Okay. Yet another key needed and this. yet no wait. Al Camilla exit. I've read that before. So, to the doctor's office. Hmm. Teddy bear, watching above. Creepy. I'd rather not step on the ritual, but there's something. Hell basement. Key. Oh, yeah. Just call it hell basement and make it last forever and I'll be very, very happy about it. Surely nothing bad's gonna happen on this, right? Oh. And yeah, this is the mirrored version. Something happened in the other I one, so... I'm not thrilled. I'll keep on exploring. This one, though, is where we found the sledgehammer, except not in the hell version. Nothing over here, though. So, how about the boiler room? Yeah. Huh, a spoonful of sugar and yada yada. Okay. No. Oh. That's odd. 
tried to uh, use the flashlight, but it's so awful. I'm not even seeing stairs, so fuck it. <sighs> and I'm gonna explore every single inch of this room, because last time I was in the, the other side of the... What do I call it? And yeah, there's a door. Am I gonna need it? Medicine room key. Something's happening. Okay. Door. 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 I don't care. Cross it. Go. Run if you need to. Oh, it was fine. Okay. Don't have the key. <laughs> Store room key. Yeah. Key collector, but it's fine. That segment had copyrighted music, so. No, thank you. Someone's crying. No, thank you, as well. Oh, sugar bombs. What are you doing? You're carrying too much stuff. 50 over. 200. Okay, yeah, no, 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 thank you. That thing weighed 100 carry weight. Oh, hey, it says kill me in odd sugar bombs, but it also takes away your health, unlike the other items around it. And yeah, I picked up some shit, but I'll just... Leave it be. The last room was closed, so... Storeroom key. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is the, the same room. Right by the morgue. Okay. So, let's go back the staircase and see what else is up. We got some healing items. Lovely. Gonna be needing those. Not the sugar bombs. I've already fell for that one. <sighs> oh. Uh, hello. Lisa, the nurse. That we had to find. Okay. Those two require a key, some psycho. Mentads. Mm, lovely. So, wanna talk? <clears throat> what do you have for me? Oh, I have to sit down. Silent Hill style. Well, how about I just play the dialogue as a whole? Hello, miss. Are you okay? Oh, hello. Are you the mother? Is this about the fire? Fire? No, no. I'm looking for my son so I can get the hell out of here. I'm sorry, ma'am. I thought you were here for the burn victim. Girl downstairs? No, I'm looking for my baby named Sean. Some men took him away. Your son is an infant? Was he badly burned in the fire? He would probably be down in the burn ward or still in the ICU. No, these men were from some cult. And they've taken my child. The Order? Oh my god. They've stolen a baby? What is going on out there? Hmm. They must have finally gone crazy. I think they were always crazy. Do you know anything about my son or not? What about this cult? Do you know anything about them? I am not from this town. I... Well, there's a cult in town. I've gone to school with some of the kids that go there, but a lot of their kids are not allowed to even go to public schools. They are very careful about what they say in public, and people just kind of stay away from them because well, they seem a little spooky. The children brought to us by members of the cult show signs of physical and mental abuse. But the authorities seem not to care. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I really don't know much about them after all. They have a church in town by the graveyard. Maybe if they took your baby, they took him there. Excuse me, I don't mean to hound you, but I found a note that said someone took Sean to uh, this hospital to, to be treated by a, a nurse named Lisa. Oh, do you mean the little boy they sent in here? A woman came into my room and demanded that I treat a little boy with a severe arm injury. She said there was no one else that could treat him. But I think it will heal with time. I... I just thought it was about the fire. Uh, they have patients running up and down the halls all night. 
The fire at the coal plant is getting really big. It must be in town by now. And I think the ICU is full because they keep filling the rooms outside with screaming patients. I think the entire hospital is at full capacity right now. This place was never meant to house so many people. It used to be an asylum for the criminally insane. What fire? I didn't see any patients in any of the rooms or doctors. Well, smoke covers the whole town in the day. You can't even see the sun, and only the ashes falling. But at night, you can see the light from the fire. It must be really close, because all I can see is red out there. Oh, I'm not sure. Do you have any idea where my son is? I'm... I'm sorry, I... I can't just tell you. I do not know if I can trust you. Please, tell me. He's all I've got left of his father. I, I'm hiding him in my apartment, along with a girl who's a little older than him, named Claudia. I fear for them. They seem important to the order, and... Well, that is never a good sign. Many children from the Order have a history of coming into Alcamilla in bad condition. Especially that Claudia girl. I think her father must be abusing her, too. He's from the cult as well. I didn't think. I, I just took them and hid them. You wonderful angel! Oh, thank you so much! Please... Tell me where they are so I can protect them. <laughs> it's no problem. It's no problem. I just want them to be okay. <laughs> if not for the fire, I would be there now, but I really must do my job. I will soon have a burn victim use this room after she is prepped. Oh, I understand. Let me ask you, how do I get to the apartment from here? Just head down the road behind the hospital a few blocks. You can't miss it. It's room 302. Oh, um, well, I'm afraid all the roads have been blocked. Do you know maybe another way to get there? Hmm, let me think. There is a maintenance entrance behind the hospital across the road headed into the sewers. It should lead you towards the apartments. <laughs> I remember the smell from it vividly, but I'm pretty sure it's locked up. Do you know where I can get a key? Well, actually, I heard we have a patient here in the hospital at room 305. He was a worker in the sewer until he had some accident. I bet they would have moved him out of the ICU. I'm not even sure how bad he was hurt. If you're lucky, he is awake and can help you. Here, I can give you the key to the room. Oh, I will go look right now. Thank you so much. Please be safe. I'll be here. Oh, if you think the gasping was too much, just know that I edited minutes out of gasping. Do do doctor's report. The patient was brought into the hospital this morning by some member of the church. The patient seems to be suffering from severe wounds inflicted by poison. Black goo is draping out of his eyes and mouth. The substance isn't known in origin, but it seemingly eats away at the flesh slowly. The curious thing is that as soon as we clean up the black goo, his wounds heal back rather fast. Maybe the goo has also a healing effect? Additional note, we do not know what kind of poison it is, but the black goo seemed to cause the subject great pain. Then, after a time, it stops oozing and the patient moans and groans, but always becomes stable again for a time. Painkillers don't seem to work, he even screamed after administering the sedative we gave him. Which would normally kill anyone else. What is keeping him alive? Is it the goo? A most curious substance and here's Abaddon the Unholy. Oh lovely, you move like a synth. You're named Abaddon the Unholy. And you've got black goo. Patreon notes, so, okay. Guess we know where the name came from. Two sewer keys. Oh, one for me. Did you find the key to the sewers? The other for her. 
Yes, I have it. Uh -uh. Right here. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm glad he was still able to help you. Please take care. Sean and Claudia deserve better in life. Remember, they are in apartment 302. Good luck. And please, be careful out there. Yes, thank you so much. I will make sure they are safe. Will you be okay here? I'll come back for you, okay? <laughs> I will be fine. I will be fine. I'm sure any minute now they will send the burn victim in here, so I have a busy night ahead of me. Please, just get them out of town before the fire gets any closer. Why don't you come with me? I think I can protect you. I'm sorry. I'm still waiting for my patient to come in. There must be a lot of burn people out there, and I will probably be pulled in to help doctors with the overflow. Please, be safe out there. Okay, who fucked up the voice lines? Because it was not the voice actors who forgot to edit out the gasps. The procedure was partially successful. We took her into the burn unit, into the basement where we cared for her. Even though her body was charred to the bone, she's somehow still alive. That crazy old hag didn't even talk to us before she set fire to the building. Now we have to face the consequences of her doing. Me, however, long hallway. So, what's at the end? Hmm. Diagonal door. Only Al Camilla exit key can unlock. Funny. We heard that before. Dreadmouth. What is that? Okay, okay. I was just gonna say Deathclaw animation, but I was not expecting a mouth to be dreaded with a little cute little head on top that's just meant to what? scare uh, whenever the shark mouth is not viciously making everyone else piss their pants okay this is gonna take a while for me fortunately i am a very interested man with time on my hands so dread mouth you are done al camilla exit key some round 16 packs and an auto 10 millimeter pistol so what's with the uh, fake face <laughs> And uh, I think I'm gonna leave it here and also put this one on hiatus. Not because I'm not enjoying it, it's just Fallout London came out and I'm extremely eager and they're not compatible. But I'll be back, promise. And I'd like to give a big shout out to Steve Whittle and to John Walker for their support of the channel. And to you. So, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I hope I'll see you on the next one. And I hope you have a good one. Bye.